Okay, we're going to make a card today, and we're going to make an Easter card. I'm also going to teach you a story of Easter, and you're going to need to listen out because I'm going to ask you to tell someone the story as well. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is we're actually going to fold the card. Okay, just like that. And then I want you to open it up again to the inside. Okay, since Easter's coming up, we are going to write the word Easter in box letters, in magic box letters. So what I want you to do is I want you to draw a line all the way down the middle, down the middle of your paper. And then I want you to draw a line down next to it. Give it about two centimeters down next to it like that. And then we're going to just close off the top, close off the bottom like that, so it looks like that. Then I want you to find the, about the middle point and put a line across the middle. And we're going to make it look like a ladder actually. And then you're going to put two more rungs on the ladder and then two more rungs below. And we are going to write Easter in magic box letters. So the first letter everyone is E. e. Okay, so when we do an E, just do two lines across like that. So there you go. That's your E. And I showed you an A a little bit earlier. Do a little I on the inside. You got your A. And then your S. The two slanted lines. And then a T is you just do two colored in side boxes to get a T. You see that? And then another E. And to do an R, it's just like an A. You start by doing an A, and then you do a little triangle on the side. So everybody got Easter? Fantastic. Well, today I'm going to teach you what happened, the event that happened about 2,000 years ago on Easter morning. Now I want you to listen, because you're going to have to tell someone else's story, okay? I'm going to write the word, everyone was sad. Jesus had been killed, and they placed his body in a tomb, and they rolled a really large stone across the tomb. I mean, how could this happen? Wasn't Jesus supposed to be the Savior? But something amazing happened. After three days, some women had to go visit the tomb. And when they got there, they didn't believe their eyes. The stone, the huge stone, had been rolled away. They couldn't believe it. So they went inside. And Jesus' body was gone. And then, then to their amazement, two angels appeared. Two angels. And they said, why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen just like he said. How do you think they felt? They were incredibly excited to hear this news, that they went to go tell their friends that what the angel had said. And so they went and told their friends, and they said, Jesus is risen. He is alive. And for 40 days later, Jesus appeared to hundreds of people to show everyone that he is alive. What an amazing Easter morning that would have been. Now what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to turn to someone next to you and I'd like you to take turns, I'll give you one minute to tell your story to someone next to you. Okay? You tell them using your pictures and what you've written next. Okay? Pretty good.
good and telling the story. Hands up, you think you did pretty good? Okay, good. Okay, at this point, what I would do is after they practiced with a friend, I'd say, is there someone who would like to come up and tell it to the whole class? But I won't do that today, because of time. So basically, you've got these little mnemonic um, things to help you with the story, don't you? And so I get a child or two, depending on how enthusiastic they are. They all want to say it. They're, they're just so much better than adults, aren't they? <laughs> and so they come up and they say the story. And then I give them time to make it into a card. So I, I always have examples of what they can do. They might want to do the, the word Easter on the front and do a picture of the two. So then I give them time and then they've got a, an Easter card right there. And then I encourage them. I say, hey. I want you to take your Easter card home and I want you to be able to tell someone about Easter morning. And they'll be able to tell them. They will. They will. Do you see how that's simple? It's just very simple. And I just concentrated basically on the resurrection. Didn't I? Didn't concentrate on the death. And that's what we want to do. We want, in, in our context, we want to concentrate on Easter morning. So is that helpful? And you can do that with another story, you know? Um, now, you don't have to do box letters. You could just write E-A-S-T-E. -E. You can start the same way, but if you're able to photocopy for the grade ones, grade twos, I will photocopy the boxes ready and have a tiny little pencil line that they can follow along. And then they'll also want to color that as well. Do you know what I mean? So there's a little way that you can do um, a story, you know, very simply. If you like this idea, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and here are many more Easter lesson ideas. Thanks again for watching. 